Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own prayer bottle. If you are watching our Thoughts at Three, you may try to join in with this, but we're aware there were some technical difficulties and you might have not been able to hear. But don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly again how to do it right now. A prayer bottle is where you have a vessel, maybe a bottle, maybe a jar, where you can shake it up and watch all of the glitter and things inside slowly settle and calm down. I like to use these to help me when I pray because sometimes my mind can feel all mixed up inside but we know that when we pray God is there with us. In fact there are lots of Bible verses that talk about prayer, how we should pray in all situations whether we are sad, happy, joyful, scared, God can be there with us. And the Bible also talks about how God can bring us peace. So just like when the glitter calms and settles at the bottom, when we spend time talking and listening with God, he can bring us peace too. I'm going to show you how to make your very own prayer bottle now. All you need is an empty, clear plastic bottle. You could use a jam jar, but the glass is more likely to break, so plastic might work better. And then you're gonna need some water, just from the tap is fine. And then any kind of shiny, glittery, colorful things that you want to go inside. I'm gonna start by filling up my bottle, mostly, not all the way, with some water. I've only filled up a little to the bottom, but I can start to add the things that I want inside. Now to help speed this up, you might want to use a funnel. It just makes pouring easier. And then we need to start adding the glitter. Doesn't matter what color you have, doesn't matter what shape you have, or if you don't have any glitter at all. You can see in this one here, I haven't used any glitter. Instead, I filled my bottle with bits of ribbon and buttons. But I think that's still really good fun to watch them float around and then settle at the bottom. But I am gonna add glitter into this one today. So I've got some red glitter here, which I'm gonna pour a bit in. And I think I might do some of the gold as well, just to have two different colors. like that. Now you can see it's all a bit floating on the top at the moment but don't worry because when we add more water and then we get to shake it around it will all float about. Now you might want to add some colour to your water as well and to do that all you need is food colouring like you would do baking with to change icing colours. Now again you don't need much just a few drops of this to care carefully pour inside. Okay, so you can see that starting to fill up there. I'm going to add a little bit more water to mine. But you don't want to fill your bottle all the way to the top, otherwise you might end up with no room to shake it about. Now the other thing that you might want to add is some sequins because this gives little extra large objects space to float around. I've got today some of these lovely butterfly sequins. So we're going to put some of those in. But again, you can use anything you have in your house. Maybe little pom-poms, buttons, bits of colourful fabric, sequins, whatever you think would look good. And then I've also got some more colourful sequins here with shapes of flowers and leaves, which I want to include too. Okay. When you think you're happy with everything you want inside your bottle, you need to put the lid back on and make sure it's on really tight as you don't want this to be leaking. You might even want to 
hot glue gun around the lid or even sticky tape just to try and extra secure it in place. And then you're able to mix it up and watch as all of the glitter and all of the objects float around and start to settle. You can use this as a way to pray, maybe like a timer. Can you spend time listening and talking with God until all the glitter falls to the bottom? Or maybe you just want to use it as a calming mindfulness activity. When our heads get all in a mess, spend time staring at this and praying with God, knowing that he can help calm our minds as well. If you do take part in this activity, we would love to see what you get up to. So send us a message either on Facebook, Southampton City Mission, on Instagram, at SEM Schools, or you can send an email to schools at southamptoncitymission.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed taking part in today's craft activity.